here, I'm Penny, and I'm going to show you how to make some bows. So, there's lots of different types of bows that you can make. Today, I'm going to show you how to make these um, flower bows, okay? There's lots of different types of centres that you can buy, um, and I'll show you my assortment. Um, there's a few things that you're going to need, okay? A glue gun, um, some bands. Okay, with regards to these bands, these are tiny little elastic bands and these are horse bands. Now you can buy these from eBay. Um, there's various different colours that you can get. I find that these ones, they're like a, a sort of a, a brownie colour, but these are classed as clear and I find that these are stronger. Sometimes um, I've had the white ones, I've also had the black ones, um, or they're like a dark brown actually. And I find they break really easily. A tip for you, don't store them outside in the blooming parlour, keep them in the house if you can, because when they get cold, they can go a bit brittle. Um, there's nothing worse than when you've had, um, you've spent loads of time making bows and then you go to put them on the collars and then they snap. That's really annoying. So yeah, try and store them in the house if you can in the winter time. Okay, so there's those and you can buy them in a, in a bag of about 500 and they're really cheap. Um, so you've got that and some sharp scissors. Um, I have a mat that I use um, and this is basically just a, a cut out square of an old grooming mat that I don't use anymore just to keep my table clean and I've got my measurements on there as well. Um, with regards to ribbon, there's lots of different ribbons that you can buy. Um, I like organza ribbon. It's a really nice ribbon to use. I've tried various different ribbons. If you go for the thick ones, um, it doesn't always work particularly well. So when purchasing ribbon, go for organza. Um, this thickness of this ribbon, uh, the width of it rather, is 40 millimeters. Um, so your 40 millimeter ribbon will give you this size bow. Okay, um, if you go for the next size up, I haven't got any, it was sure they'll, they'll be about that big, um, 70 millimetre, okay? So um, if you want to make larger bows for bigger dogs, then go for the 70 mil. Um, but these are quite nice, these are, these are quite nice on all different sizes, um, a good all round size for that one. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk you through uh, how to make the bow, and I'm going to show you some of my centres. I've got a nice range. When buying your centres, um, look up embellishments um, and then you'll get a whole range of things to come up. I also like to use buttons. If you're going to use buttons, um, some of them, like these ones here, I don't know if you can see that, they come with this little sort of loopy type thing on the back. Um, so I find it helps to have some of these um, in my box because I, what I do is just take that back bit off, snip it, got to hold my hand over it otherwise it will ping at you, um, just so that the back's nice and flat, whoops, dropped it, um, yeah just so that the back's nice and flat so that when you go to push it on there's nothing um, sort of stopping it from laying nice and flush. All right, show you some of my bags. Okay so these are my seasonal ones. Um, these are really cute, some little um, bats, which I think are really sweet. Um, I've got some skulls for Halloween, which I think are quite cute. These were really cool. They were for World Cup one year. Um, bells for Christmas, stockings, Easter, bunnies. Okay, and then, oh, these are really cute. Look. They're really sweet for Halloween. Okay, moving on to this one, my little general box here. As you say, I've got loads because once upon a time, I was addicted to finding different centers. They're hearts, they're really cute. These are good for Valentine's. You can make Valentine's ones. Um, you can go on and on, there's loads. I also really, really like the different bugs that you can get. Um, just as a little tip, I've found that the ones that you can buy um, are better um, a centimetre 
if you get anything less than a centimetre, I started off by buying these little things here and I find them too small. So anything from sort of one centimetre upwards, which is 10 millimetres, isn't it? So yeah, 10 mil and up, I find are the better size to use. All right, okay. So I'm gonna start with my ribbon, okay? And I've cut this to 14 centimetres. It helps if you do it on a slippery surface and then I'm going to hold it with my thumbs and then I'm going to use these two fingers to just pull it, okay, to gather it and hold it. Then my fingers, I'm going to pull it and then grab, pull it and grab, pull it, grab, pull it and then grab that last bit, okay, and then essentially you've got this little sort of fan. Okay, hold that tight, take a band, okay, put it over and then pull it like that, okay, turn it, go over like that, okay, just round the other side and then hold it in place. All right, and then what you have to do is just pull it round either side to make a flower. So depending on what material you're using, sometimes it's easier, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult, okay? So you've made a nice little flower. Okay, take your glue, put a small amount of glue in the middle Okay, any little stringy bits, get rid of them. Oops, like that, be careful. Glue is hot, get your centre, pop it in the middle, about 10 seconds, and then that sets. Okay, have a little tidy up. And there's your flower, okay? And then if you look on the other side, you can see the bit that attaches to the collar. So take that off. And there you have your flower. Okay. And here we have the finished bows in a range of centres and colours. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.